Well, the folks from Craig Hospital are taking over a High Plains Raceway for a second year. It's their annual Pedal for Possible fundraiser, and you don't want to miss it. Right now, joining me is Kelly Secor and Mara Salas. Both are certified therapeutic recreational recreation specialists at Craig <laughs> Hospital. Thank you both for being here. That's a mouthful yes, of a title. It is. And it's a wonderful <laughs> job. Kelly, tell us what a certified therapeutic recreation specialist does. Yes, so at Craig Hospital, we help treat our patients with brain and spinal cord injuries and we help them get back into their leisure and recreation interests and those interests that give them purpose. So we work on their cognitive, physical, social and emotional goals to help them live independently. That's so wonderful. And Mara, why is it important to get spine and brain injury patients back out doing what they love? Yeah, I think, you know, Kelly nailed it. Purpose. That's our big, our big reason. Why are we doing this? It gives them something to get up every day for. It gives them something to look forward to. It's what they do with their family. It's what they do with their friends. It's what, it's what they enjoy. So if we can bring that joy back is, I think, the best thing about our job every day. Yeah. That's so <laughs> awesome. It's who they are, right? Absolutely. It's what you would do that makes you who you are. So, Kelly, pedal for, pedal for possible raises money to cover insurance uh, costs that insurance companies unfortunately won't cover. So, what are some of those costs? Yes, so music therapy is one of them, um, assistive technology, and the biggest one is therapeutic recreation. It's not covered under insurance right now, and the funds from this fundraiser help us provide patients adaptive equipment, scholarship funds, adventure trips and all these fun great things and gives our patients tools to live their life and get back into what they really enjoy. So it's a really important event and Mara Pedal for Possible moved to the High Plains uh, Raceway last year. How did it go? It must have gone well if you want to go back again. <laughs> exactly. You know the big um, thing that prompted the move was just safety. So we're having riders in a close course um, where it's allowing independence and just kind of overall safety and community for both our adaptive and non-adaptive riders. Um, we've got our adaptive ride numbers are up and which is what who we do this for so it's great to be able to welcome more of those people out to ride with us and we're looking forward to hopefully more this year. That is amazing. So if you want to ride, um, tell us who can be involved in this and when do we need to sign up by? Yes, anyone can register to ride. If you have a bike, you can do it. Uh, you can register on pedalforpossible.org and you can register up until the day of. You can even come out and register that day. There's fun incentive gifts, jerseys that you could get, um, and just fun community and supporting our patients with brain and spinal cord injuries. Awesome. Well, Kelly and Mara, thank you so much for being here. Pedal for Pedal, this is hard for me to say. Pedal for Possible <laughs> is Saturday, October 26th at the High Plains Raceway. We have a link for more information on cbscolorado.com.